I retired because of disability from Greenville County School District uh, in September 2010, but I became ill in February of 2010 and uh, almost died. And you know how you plan ahead and you're going to retire and you're going to have little projects and things that upgrades and things that needs to be done to your home. Um, I didn't get to realize that independently. They diagnosed me with end-stage renal disease and the rest is history. Uh, I was immediately uh, approved for Social Security Disability. And how I came to hear about city services, I was talking to a friend who lives in the county. She had bought a house, I want to say in the Judson area near St. Francis, and it needed a tremendous amount of work. So she had been referred to Greenville County Redevelopment. And she said, give them a call. And I can't remember if I spoke with someone by the name of Kathy. And Kathy said, call Mamie Bold. Uh, I enjoy working with individuals who have a need for this kind of service. Uh, many times I see in the neighborhoods where there are people who are not financially able to address these issues and I, I really enjoy assisting those individuals if they will apply to our program. Many times people are uncomfortable because they feel that we um, are trying to put them out of their homes or whatever. I like trying to assure those people that that is not our purpose at all. So I really enjoy working with the individuals in the communities. Um, it was a few pages. I filled it out, uh, returned it to uh, Mrs. Bolden in the city. If they needed more information, would initially contact me. Um, the contractor took my bathroom and gutted it, removed the tub, uh, and because of my balance issues, put up a handicap rail and uh, a walk-in shower, insulated the attic, crawl space, new windows, gutters, um, an outdoor weatherized hot water heater, new flooring in my uh, kitchen and my washroom, and uh, last but not least, doors. Uh, two storm doors, or actually three. Uh, two internal doors, and the big thing is uh, the casing um, around my entire house so that I never have to paint that again. Uh, just to put it real simply, every house has issues. We try to address safe, warm, and dry. Uh, safety, every house that was built before 1978 is assumed to have lead-based paint. This is dangerous to you. We address that during our walkthrough. We do a lead test and we, we uh, abate the lead from your home, make it safe for you. About every house that we look at has electrical problems. So we address that also. Uh, we put smoke alarms in. We put uh, carbon monoxide testers in. Uh, this right here will save your life possibly. Uh, next issue is warm. We also put in um, new windows. These are, are low E glass, also have insulated glass. Uh, we also put in um, insulation in the attic and in the basement. Uh, we also install a high efficiency uh, heat system of some sort. All this together quite simply means that you pay less for your power bill. Um, I heat with heat my natural gas uh, and I'm on an equalized payment plan and prior to the work being done it was $85 per month uh, but recently it has decreased to $53 a month so uh, approximately $32 monthly um, that I have real cash in my pocket as a result of that. And then the next issue will be dry. Uh, we'll walk through, we'll look at your house, look at your roof, and assess if it has excessive wear, old shingles, any issues with rafters and whatnot, and uh, we'll address that. We'll tear the roof completely off, whatever's necessary to make it uh, a dry, safe, warm home for you. If you call um, Community Development, uh, we don't mind coming out. It's a free inspection. I'll walk through your home and, and just take a look. Uh, done this for a while, so we can point out different issues and walk you through it. I like working on houses. 
I, I was a, I built houses for 26 years and been here for six years dealing with it. Uh, I like making things better. I'm production oriented. I like to take something, tore up and fix it. I also like dealing with people. So both those things I get paid. It's kind of like a mission trip for me. The repairs are made by the contractors that are on our approved contractors list. They must be thoroughly insured and so forth and um, they are the only ones that can bid on the project and they do the job. Every contractor we have, we check them out, we look at bank records, uh, uh, previous work history. We've known these guys for years. Uh, in no way do you want to put anybody untrustworthy in your home. In my experience, the contractor that worked on my house, he was friendly, very thorough, and you know, we tweaked some things, we worked together. Um, I, I didn't have to worry about leaving my home and them working in it. And the, and the job, the project was completed in a timely and an efficient manner. The process will take approximately two months. First, we verify ownership to the property through our legal department, uh, our inspector, and the contractors go out for uh, a walkthrough to see what all needs to be done. Um, everyone bids on the, on the job, and then we can follow through at that point. Usually, it's about six weeks to two months. someone in the city of Greenville, um, I would uh, highly recommend that they contact the city of Greenville and at least get the contract, get the application, and review it and see if this would work for them. The key thing, I think, for me was that I needed repairs to my home very badly, and they were repairs that I could not financially um, as a disabled individual afford to do independently. And the, the thing that um, I would recommend, look at the contract. Every year after your work is done, one-tenth of what it costs is forgiven. That's right. It's not going to take your home away from you. And the key that I think that people have to understand is the city of Greenville just wants to make your home, your community, look better. a wonderful experience. Um, I never knew about these services, so it was sort of a, you know, um, I don't know, uh, I tripped up upon it for lack of a better word, way to put it. But it was such a positive experience, and you know you always want, or I do, to be independent, to be able to do everything for myself in my own time frame. Um, so it was very emotional for me uh, to realize that uh, there is help there for those that need it, and I certainly appreciate it. Um, after everyone left, you know, each group, the uh, carpenters that worked internally, the crew that came and inset my windows, that was amazing because I thought this was gonna take three or four days and it was done in a few hours. Uh, after they left and I looked at my roof, I looked after the volunteers painted, you know, it was just amazing. It looked like a new home. It still does. I appreciate it and, and it's my goal to maintain it. I just can't thank you enough.
For more information about the City of Greenville Community Development Projects, visit the City's website, greenvillesc.gov.